Let's just zoom in a bit. Oh, we've got a man in the picture. What's he doing? Just wandering around. He don't know I'm watching him from a mile away. Anyway, he can stay in the picture. I'll let him. Welcome, I'm Steve, that's Howie, and there is a 1,000 year old church. Now that's what I call old school. i uh, decided to uh, pop out here, haven't been here for a couple of years, and it's quite a nice little quaint church, perched on top of a hill, basically in the middle of nowhere in Hampshire. Thought I'd do a little bit of uh, landscape photography today, just for the simple fact that Trying to do woodland photography in this really bright sunshine doesn't really work for me. So I thought I'd venture out a little bit. Oh, sorry I'm out of breath. It's a big hill I've just walked up. Um, they've got some lovely wildflowers in some meadows, things like that. And we're uh, situated on one of the hills. What I'll probably do is as the sun goes down behind me over there, is I'll see if I can get onto that hill over there take some pictures of this little church from the other side with the sun shining onto it uh, basically in golden hour got about another half hour to an hour before that that happens so I'll see how it goes uh, what I'd like to do is see this church there the thousand year old church I would like to get that in most of my pictures tonight so whether it's with wild flowers in front or possibly these cornfields um, also, I think I can get onto that hill over the other side there. There's a train line that runs down the bottom of the valley and I think there's a pathway that runs up to the top of that side over there and I want to explore over there as well. I haven't been over there yet. So if there's any way of getting over there, whether there's a bridge or something like that, I'd like to uh, investigate that side as well. So I'm going to take a wander around now. It's a bit blown out, I can imagine, with that sun right in my face. Uh, I'm going to take a wander around, set up, see if I can start my compositions off. I know they're going to be really harsh at the moment, but you've got to start somewhere. And obviously as the light goes on and it gets softer in the evening, um, I should get some more good images as well. So, let's see how we go. Well, I've got my first image uh, lined up here. Well, we're, we're at the very back of this meadow with all these wild flowers. Uh, sun is still way too bright at the moment, but I do want to start get into it and just start taking some pictures and seeing how we progress as the sun gets lower down. At the moment, everything's quite wiped out and the histogram is off the charts at the moment. Uh, my settings are f11 and 3200th of a second, so it's absolutely super bright at the moment. I'm sweating, it's really hot, but I do want to start getting some images. Uh, possibly of just the foreground here where the back we've got backlight so where we've got backlight all these higher grasses are just being illuminated by the sun so hopefully we just get some nice glow in the foreground and then in the very background we'll have the church so that'll be uh image number one i'll be taking a few just dotted around this little area here just to get me into it for tonight and then uh i'll pop them up and see what those ones look like
grumble about the weather. It's just a shame that there's just absolutely no clouds. It's just blue everywhere. This particular picture I'm going to take now, just going to be nothing special. Just going to lead up from up the hill and we've just got the corn fields on both sides. And then we've just got the church at the top. Blue sky, nothing really interesting going on with it. But what I will do is possibly just turn that to a black and white rather than keeping it in colour because there's just nothing really going on in the sky. It's just there, isn't it? So uh, I'll probably do this image, like I say, in black and white. Um, just a straightforward one. We haven't got more than just F11, uh, ISO 100, and it's basically just a very, very fast shutter speed of... Uh, 1250 super fast super bright at the moment but it is what it is and uh, i'll pop that one up for you right luckily i found a little tunnel that goes underneath um the railway lines now so i can get to the, the other side of that valley uh, probably best take a walk up there now just for the simple fact that when the sun starts to go down we've got a lot softer light and i'm already at the top it's probably about a mile walk actually it looks quite a steep hill so i'm gonna wander up there now get set up and see what kind of views i can see back in a minute look there goes the farmer wonder what it was, it was a motorbike. Is he off to? Doing what he likes, I suppose, it's his land. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, so I'm at the top of this hill now. I managed to make it. Must be about a mile's walk or so by the time I got here. And I'll just show you where the church is now on the opposite side of the valley. You can see it through the gap there. Put it right in the middle there. The sun is getting much lower now. We're going to throw some shadows up in a minute. So possibly better get a nice image of that when it goes really soft. And obviously we know for a fact as photographers, as soon as the sun starts to go lower, everything starts to turn orange. Nice bit of golden hour, giving lovely little haze as well, I think, down there. So that's a shot for in a minute. But on my way up this, come on, Howie. On the way up this pathway, I did stumble across a little woodland scene and uh, be a bit rude if I didn't take a picture of this uh, little scene. So uh, I've set it up already. Let's do a quick run down of uh, what this is all about. So as you can see, let me just swing it around. There we go. So we've got fields either side of this going down through into the bottom of the valley. And I just like the way that the trees just come up in the middle. Just, and it's just a nice straight leading line all the way through. Notice this um, this little plant in the foreground there. I think I'll get that in as well. Use that as the focal point and then just let the image lead through. So let's have a look. So we're on fifth of a second, F11. Oh, ISO 640, I don't think so. That's got to come down. There we go. That's it, ISO 100. God knows where I've got those settings from. Let's zoom in on that plant. Get that nice and sharp. Up there. Come back out again. And I'll uh, take that image. Three second timer. Oh, needs to be a little bit brighter than that, I think. Oh, we go for 1.6 of a second. Oh, that's a lot better. Yeah, it's a nice soft light going on there. I'm sure I can mess around in Lightroom with that and uh, bring that image to life. Well, I thought it'd be nice and easy. Stand on top of a hill, uh, put your camera on a tripod, 
take a picture of that church over there as the sun goes down. I've been wandering everywhere around here trying to get a good image or should we say a good composition of it. I think I've got half decent one now but unfortunately we've got all these trees that are all jutting up so and there's a field there so I can't walk on that um, so I've managed to just find this little place here so I'll just show you the image there we are so we've got that little sign in the bottom corner I think I'll get rid of that I'll wipe that out in Photoshop type thing uh, let's just zoom in a bit oh, we've got a man in the picture what's he doing just wandering around but he doesn't know I'm watching him from a mile away but anyway he can stay in the picture I'll let him I'll just make sure it's really wobbly on this tripod luckily I've got a three second timer I just want to make sure that is crystal clear come on come on there we go right let's come back out again yeah that's level 1 40th of a second f11 iso 100 and we've got some nice little soft light colors going on i do like the fact that where the sun is so low now and it's uh making a lovely shadow across the uh, edge of the church on the right hand side which is really nice and um the contours of the land really really look really fantastic when uh, the sun goes down like it is at the moment so my next mission is to go up this hill another hill see what's over the other side of there and then that'll be my sunset shots hopefully not much of a cloud or anything oh the moon's out oh the moon's out over there so i'm going to take a wander now pack this up go up the top of the hill See what's over the other side and get set up for another image. about 30 minutes before the sun goes down now and I've just come up to the top of that hill that I was uh, shooting that church on I've come up to the top and uh, just on the edge of this lovely little field here we've got all these beautiful poppies and these daisies as well um, and what they are with their backlit um, so I thought I'd stop and take a picture of that I do like intimate pictures of um, summer flowers with the sun haze behind them I think that really gives the essence of summer those long summer evenings so uh, I'm really happy that uh, I found this little image. So uh, let me just talk you through it. I'm on 140 mm um, F11, nice and sharp as far as I can. ISO 100 and 125th of a second. I'll show you, let me just move that out of the way. I'll just zoom in and I've got that nice and sharp on that particular image there. And then we come back out again and I'll take that. Right, sun's gone down now just managed to capture the last of the images that I was going to take tonight uh, I'll just talk you through it and then I'll put the picture up in a minute so we've got this cornfield in front of us this wheat field in front of us and um, that just runs down the valley and then up the other side in the far distance we've got two pylons either side of the sun which set right in the middle there as you can see we've got blue and then it's starting to go into different layers now we've got lovely oranges we've got purples going on not quite sure if you can see it in um, the back of my gopro but from where i'm stood it's absolutely exploding the sky is absolutely fantastic so what i've done on this particular image is i've bracketed it so we've got where it's darker down here we've exposed it much higher so we can get some more detail in all these wheat fields and then our middle exposure just of the entire image and then a higher exposure as well or should i say um 
a quicker shutter speed so we've got more detail in the sky. Right, I think I'll call it a night now. Um, been absolutely fantastic. I haven't been out for a month, so I was a bit rusty. And I've just looked at my uh, back of my camera, and the first few images I took, it was on ISO 640, uh, shooting into direct sunlight. So I'm a bit of a noob for doing that. Like I say, it's been a while. I've uh, been out about a month now without taking any pictures. So trying to get back into it again. But um, this is really uh, lifting my spirits tonight. Absolutely fantastic out here it is. Um, lovely and warm walking around dogs had a drink so don't worry about him he's all right aren't you mate and uh, I think I'll call it a night I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please like and subscribe until next time see ya